This learning team engages in a robust conversation that focuses on their observations of student learning and the effectiveness of their instructional decisions. They examine and analyze student work and discuss how to change their practice in order to move student learning forward. The dialogue is reflective, respectful, and open to learning. We have a tight network of teachers here working collaboratively. We've broken boundaries, we're opening doors, we're having these dialogues that I would want to know more intently what the process looks like from the primary stages so that I can best meet the needs of the grade fives as they enter our doors in middle school. And also the use of common language and, and carrying that through has been very important. So. What I found helpful with having another teacher in my class is I always think I know exactly what's going on in my room with what everyone's doing, <laughs> but I miss out in just like a minute. So I'm at this table and then someone, so the other teacher would call me and say, you're missing this out, come look at this. And um, these are things that, you know, where you're, when you're co-teaching, it really helps out just to get that uh, perspective. Like this morning with the two of you, like the three of us working together and, you know, you're, you're giving me some info, you're giving me some info and these are things that I wasn't there to see. So that uh, for myself, just in the future too, you know, how can I bring someone into my room? Whether it's one of my teachers, do I have a volunteer, do I have a teacher candidate, just someone who I can work with, just kind of train with, uh, or mentor a little if they're not into this, and work towards this, this type of math. It's almost like moderated marking, what worked, what didn't work, what can we do better, what do they need, and so it's been very helpful to know where we're going. I, I like the analogy with the moderated marking, because I almost see it as, as um, you know, live moderated marking, right? Like, I mean, it's happening on the spot and, and instantaneously, which it goes back into that whole timely feedback piece. Because the most informative and the most powerful feedback for kids is as they're trying it and as they're working. So you get that right away. And as well for the teachers. I mean, it, it, if you, uh, you know, if, if there's a gap there in terms of, of how we're meeting the kids' needs and we can get that feedback right away, then not only do we get to address that gap, but we get to see the positive outcome right away. Mm -hmm. When we are introduced to other teachers co-teaching with us, what it does is it expands our tool kit, right? And it expands our strategies and our skills. And we start to be able to be observers at the same time as teachers. The last time we came to a meeting at this school, I, I've been doing word problems with my kids for three years and someone shared one of their best practices with me last time we were at the meeting about two months ago about having other groups present other groups work and I never thought of that and that's one of the most successful things that I started to use in the class for the children and I would never have thought of it or tried it so sharing of the best practices has been very very mm -hmm. helpful. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it also builds the confidence in the students and we're talking about students who were shy in the beginning with the band so they know it's, uh, you know, they don't have to fear, they, they can scratch their work out, it's okay, it builds up the confidence in the students and also it's really exciting for them and there's that part of the deprivatization of the classroom that's an important piece too. So I really enjoy the band when the kids, the students actually enjoy it even more. It's mm -hmm. problem solving, but they're all involved. There's the math vocabulary, there's the rich talking. Yeah. So it's and when the kids actually see the teachers are still learning, it really gives them a freedom to experiment and to step out and make mistakes and not be afraid of that. I share that with, the, with my students all the time, you know, because I'm continuing to take courses as well. And I'll say to them, well, you know, I have homework tonight too. And, you know, this is what I have to do. And this is how I remember things. And, and so just being students together, I think, creates this uh, cooperation between the teacher and the student. My students are so, they're so curious, you know. <laughs> and they say, so what did you do? And we say, well, where you had a band show and actually Miss Alvarez said we're gonna go next door and have a band show of the band show and and they want to know well how did we do it and, and and what did you learn and what are we gonna do better you know and things like that so it creates this uh, really good and productive uh, competition in a way of, of improving mm -hmm. and you know and what it does is it engages the students. The number of at-risk students in my class who are starting to take pride in math like who are genuinely excited to present their work is amazing like Students I would never have expected to be really excited to talk about math. And uh, that, that's, like, you know, I think it's adding a, a real level of excitement into math that maybe isn't there with some of the more traditional activities. 
uh, because, you know, having another teacher in adds a le level of excitement. Uh, it makes them feel special about the process. Mm -hmm. Getting to present it, mm -hmm. having different teachers comment on their work. Mm -hmm. um, it, yeah, it's taking it out of the ordinary yep. and the routine and, uh, I mean, keeping it fresh and th that's really and effective. And I found that the children really enjoy the challenge. I took, um, and I will take this question back to my split two, three <laughs> class, and I took the last question back and I will tell you that my grade threes uh, pretty much all had success with the last question and I already have an idea that they'll have a success with this question and they will feel so proud that we solved a grade six question. Oh, yeah. One of my students who, you know, very weak in math, uh, very, very turned off and, and just afraid of anything with math will, will hide. And in the group, um, he started that way, but because they had this thing where they all had their own colored markers and everyone needs to be represented, someone was dictating to him what to write in terms of numbers. And when I was watching it, I was thinking, this student who is listening is now learning where do these numbers go? Mm -hmm. And um, uh, just the whole format of how do you subtract? How do you subtract going down? What, how do you subtract going sideways? And he took something from it. And just, like he was so happy. And I thought, you know, that's, that's what matters, that the student uh, can go home and, and say to himself or think, I participated in math and I was happy about it. And he really felt like that he contributed just as much as the person who was telling him what to do.